with Chef Ramsay raising the stakes on the Punishment Pass Challenge. The chef that has cooked the dish that I like least will be leaving Hell's Kitchen now. It is no longer a fight for victory. It is also a fight for survival. Nikki, you're up first. Describe the dish, please. This is jasmine sushi rice and char-grilled tiger shrimp and a little bit of, I know, and a little bit of... I'm not laughing. Why am I holding it up there like that? Because it's not cleaned. Rule number one when prepping shrimp, what's the one thing we do? Clean shrimp. That's shrimp. Shrimp. the first thing you do. Like, who want to eat shit? I don't, do you? Yo, that's like leaving a baby walking around with a shitty diaper on all day and don't even care. I asked for a dish to go on my menu. I wouldn't put that anywhere near a cafe. I'd take that dish back. Step back in line. Following Nikki's dirty dish, Elliot steps up to the plate with his sauteed white shrimp with a spring vegetable succotash. And that's it, just sauteed vegetables. The time really caught up to me, chef. It's just a clumpy, greasy pot of vegetables with sauteed shrimp. Is it worse than Nikki's? Elliot, it is worse. Go back in line. Nikki, back in the kitchen. You're safe. I cracked under the pressure. I cracked hard, but I know how to cook. I just have to be able to recover from this and move on. Jordan comes forward with her. Sauteed tiger shrimp with a garlic beurre blanc. Presentation looks bleak. Do you see that shrimp there? Yes, sir. What does that need? And it needs to be cooked somewhere. Opening night menu. And now you present me a shrimp that's not even cooked in the middle. I've cooked steaks that are bigger than my damn head perfectly, and I can't cook a fucking shrimp. Like, that is some rookie shit. Is it worse than Elliot's? Jordan, say thank you to Elliot, because you've just dodged a bullet. Take that shit back in the kitchen. Well, the one thing I can confirm is that the red team are staying intact. Uh, blue team, is it Kenneth or Elliot? I'm nervous as hell. I'm shaking, I'm trembling. Come on, shrimp gods, help me out here. Kenneth, describe the dish. I did a penne pasta, chef, with sauteed peppers, bacon, garlic, and mushrooms. What the fuck is that? What is that? I have no clue, chef. It looked like a potato. A potato? And I didn't even use potatoes. What the fuck? Blue team, we have a potato that has dropped in Kenneth's dish. The Who's got potato in their fucking dish? No one. Not no, 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 chef. No, no. Oh, my oh, God. No. Potato gate. You don't know how that got in there. Chef, I didn't touch potatoes. Potatoes wasn't even a part of my dish. Taste that. It's a block of parmesan, you fucking donut. Did you put the parmesan in there? Yes, chef, but I grated the parmesan cheese. Grated? It's a block of parmesan in there. We're trying not to laugh, but Kenneth, come on, man. Like, it's a piece of Parmesan. You know, you can't fix stupid. Do you want to swallow that or do you want to spit it out? Spit it out. Yo, I know the difference between a potato and Parmesan cheese, but it looked just like a potato. It's a mess. Take this back. Step in line next to Elliot. Kenneth, Elliot, two appalling dishes. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is. Kenneth, it's time to leave House Kitchen. Give me a jacket. Elliot, back in the kitchen and wake up. Yeah, chef. Thank you. It's heavy. It's fuck. Coming to Hell's Kitchen, I had a lot to prove. I thought I was going to make it further in the competition than what I did, but it's a learning experience. At the end of the day, I feel that my great-grandmother is smiling down. I really did her proud. I made it this far. Really, I have anything to say.